my name's Kendra, and I'm going to be hosting this video series on what it means to be a music major. We're going to cover a lot of topics in this series, but this first video will be specifically discussing what you can be doing right now so that you can feel more prepared when it's time for you to audition and actually start school. I've asked a few of my peers to help answer some common questions about how to prepare for music school if this is a path that you think you want to take. So the biggest difference between high school and college is independence. And with independence comes responsibility. So you need to make sure that every morning when you're getting yourself out of bed, you're going to your classes, you're staying on top of your homework and learning your music for your ensembles. You also need to make sure you're taking care of yourself and staying healthy. So you need to make sure you're eating meals, doing your laundry, keeping your dorm and apartment clean, and just really taking care of yourself. When I was in high school, I tried to do everything. Sports, music, clubs, volunteering, and I was able to do it all. College is definitely different in that aspect, especially as a music major. You're probably not going to be able to do everything you want, but instead try and get involved deeply into one or two things. In college, quality trumps quantity. Additionally, students have much more personal responsibility in college than in high school. Often, professors will not remind you to do assignments listed on the syllabus. You have to stay organized and on top of your work. Finally, college will be different from high school because your music is your schoolwork, your number one priority. It's not only a fun, good time where you can hang out with your friends. Ensembles and lessons are taken very seriously here, and if you're a music major, you'll definitely love it, but you have to be prepared for it to be hard work. As far as planning for college life, definitely try to establish good, healthy habits before you go so it's easier to maintain them when you get there, like eating healthy, exercising, getting enough sleep, doing that. If you have that in your routine already, it'll be much easier to be able to try to maintain that once you get to college because especially your first semester, everything is new, so it can be really hard to stick to routines, but if it's already part of your daily, it'll be much easier. One piece of advice I could give is to set up a sample lesson with the professor and shadow a current music major. A few weeks before my audition, I contacted the flute professor to set up a lesson. I had my lesson, then I went to a few classes, including the flute studio hour, to get a sense of the culture of the school and the classes I would be taking. And it helped me feel so much more comfortable at my official audition a few weeks later because Dr. Rayleigh already knew me and I could show her that I had worked on the things she suggested me to work on. The number one piece of advice I can give is to start learning piano, music theory, and sight singing. Every music major has to take four semesters of piano unless you test out and I cannot tell you how many of us wish we had more piano experience coming into college. Especially if you want to eventually become a choir director, piano is essential and the more you can do now, the easier your life will be. Additionally, start brushing up on some basic music theory and sight singing. Learn your solfege, some intervals, and key signatures. This will help you immensely in your music theory and aurals classes. Probably the most important thing you can be doing right now is just practicing. Keep studying, taking lessons, playing your instrument, whatever you need to do to become the best musician you can be, so that when you get to college, you can just let that experience kind of shape you and bring you to the next level so you can mold that into a career path. I would definitely encourage you to ask for help. Talk to someone who's in your field, maybe try to find someone who can be your mentor or can at least give you a little bit of guidance. Maybe try to get some experience in the field. So if you're interested in education, you can be talking to your teachers, seeing how you can help them get involved and learn a little bit more about what goes into their planning and preparation. Um, if you're looking into more theory, composition, maybe try to find some people to look at your work, see if there's someone who you can write for, um, just to give you some feedback. Um, if you want to go for performance, just get people to listen to you and give you some feedback and just, you know, try to build up your comfort level, sharing your music with others and putting it out there. It doesn't have to be big, but any experience you get now is going to help you in the long run, and it might help you to decide if this is the field that you want to be in. One of the best ways i found to be able to feel like you can catch up if you feel behind 
is you can just reach out to any kind of music majors that you know or ask the music department to get you in touch with them. They can tell you what kind of classwork they're taking and what they wish they knew. Like I know a lot of students wish they started studying piano before they came to music school. So things like that could be really beneficial and just reaching out to whatever university you think you might want to attend because they'll really try to help you out and get you as well prepared as you can be. So they offered some really great answers and advice and hopefully you found something useful that you can start applying to your life now to set you up for success when it's time to head off to school.